Hello everybody, it's Farm Some Guy here. Welcome back to Greystone. We are still in the throes of combining here at the moment. We've got uh, this last little field of soybeans to gather up here. And we'll drop those into the auger wagon that we've got parked behind us. Um, and then we have got one small field of wheat that uh, we need to grab as well. So we'll grab that. So it's uh, going to be a little bit of juggling of things today, I think. Uh, because we've got... Uh, to swap over bins but I don't want to swap bins until um, I've gra grabbed the last of that wheat so we might have to just be clever with how we unload that um, so we'll think about what we're going to do there in a little minute but this field shouldn't take us very long at all to do as you can see we're making good progress on the pond getting filled in we'll have a look at that in a little minute as well and show you how things are going there but um, we're looking good but I do need to think about what we do next we've got bales on the big field that we uh, combined the other day on the wheat field so we need to gather some of those up and also um, we need to really think about tillage. We've got some crops still to grow so we can see there that the corn um, is not ready to cut yet. Uh, both those two fields of corn not ready to cut yet and this field behind the strip of green behind us is soybeans as well which is at a different stage of growth so we'll have to wait for that to grow as well. So a bit bitty at the moment. Now I have said as well before that this, uh, this little clump of fields here is, is kind of impractical they're all so small that actually i would like to grow them uh pull them all together and grow them as one big field or a couple of big fields of the same crop going forward so we'll definitely consider what we're going to do next with that um, but definitely i think we've got tillage to do maybe even a bit of plowing uh, to join fields up so we're going to push on uh, we'll get this field stripped pretty quickly it's very small so uh uh, it won't take us long at all to do that and then we'll uh, we'll come back and have a plan about what we do next but um, certainly for me I think um, we did talk about keeping the soybeans for as long as possible so we'll do that and uh, the same with the wheat that's going in the other silo we're going to hold on to those and make sure we find the best time to sell them we'll optimize the money we get as much as possible uh, but I also think we're probably very close now to getting our cows. We've got enough uh, material uh, to be able to get some feed ready from the TMR machine. Um, and we've got some straw now, so we can put some bedding down as well. So um, I think probably by the end of this episode we're going to see some animals in our shed, which is great. And uh, move on to the next phase of the farm. But for now, we'll just push on with this and we'll give you a shout when we're done. So here we are back, a mere two and a half minutes since I last spoke to you, and it's taken us that long to do this field. Um, so I've been thinking about what I'm going to do with my soybeans. So there's a very small amount in the in the gravity wagon already, plus whatever we've got in here, and we have another field that we still need to combine that isn't ripe yet. So um, in fact we've got two fields, because there's one up by the wheat field at the top near the farm as well. So I'm just thinking now there's barely enough to put it in the silos at the moment so I'm wondering if it stays in the gravity wagon we have only got one small field of wheat to do so I'm wondering do we go and grab that field of wheat and just use the combine use the auger on the combine because it's the last gonna, it's going to be the last bit of cutting we do uh, for a little while is use the combine just to dump it into the uh, auger um, and then we can close off that uh, then we can close off that silo uh, and put it to bed and then we'll just hold on to the other stuff in the uh, in the gravity wagon until we've got these other two fields and it shouldn't go off I don't think I think we're only looking at you know a couple of days of waiting it's not like it's going to be sitting in there for months so we might uh, we might try that but um, just for now let's get this unloaded and uh, get the combine over and doing that we as you can see there the pond in the background that hole is getting smaller and smaller day by day uh, we'll jump back to that in a little while and see if there's anything we can do there they've gone home for the day it's coming up to uh, uh, half past four in the afternoon um, so they're done for the day so let's get this into the gravity wagon and we'll run the combine back to the farm it's probably not far off oh I did repair it in the last episode actually but it's looking quite dirty we'll maybe give, give it a clean after we've uh, finished the last of the uh, of the wheat and give it a wait until uh, the next few uh, cuts of harvest in the next few days. Right, let's get this back to the farm though. As you can see, they're doing a great job on the pond though. There's a lot of um, 
undulations that they've dug out. Uh, it's going to make a great uh, new field, that. And again, I might link that. There is a bit of a ground change there, but I might link those two fields together into one big field. Could be good. Uh, and we've got quite a nice uh, supply of stone here that we're uh, collecting as well. That's going to be worth some money. We'll take that down to the lime production point at some point in the future as well. Um, might have to ask them to keep that big excavator, that digger down here, at least for a little while until we've gathered all that up. Um, but we have got a very small wheat field behind the smallest ever soybean field. I mean, look at that. It's a postage stamp. So, um, let's grab this wheat here and we will dump it straight into the silos. Right, I am going to just do this. This will probably take less time than the other field we've just done. So I will jump back as soon as we're done. See you in a minute. Here we are, we're just grabbing this last little strip here. We are done. There's actually a good amount of cropping here. 66% of a, uh, a tank full. Um, so more than I was expecting, which was good. Uh, must have been a, a decent yield on that field. So let's grab it now. We are done. Let us run over to where our uh, auger is. And the little Alice Chalmers. And we will fire it up and we will get it unloaded. Now look, we disconnected the Alice last time we were here, so we better reconnect it. Now, Scooter did tell me, Scooter's workbench, who, uh, who did this auger, did point out, see that uh, little tiny square there? That is a helping hand for where you want to park your tractor so that it's in the right place. So when you connect the auger, it doesn't move to left or right, so let's give it a go, shall we? There you go. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant. Now I also, if I remember correctly, shut the lid on this bin, so we probably want to just nip around here and open it back up. I want grain spilling out all over the lid of the uh, bin. That wouldn't be ideal, so that's that done. Let's jump back in the combine and see if we can get this unloaded directly. Well, that's a result. That saves us uh, wondering where we were going to put this or where we were going to put the soybeans. So we'll let that unload and we'll park this up for a little bit. Okay, that's done. We will just check the amount we've got in here. I think I just need to run around to the unload part here and it will tell me how much is in here. There you go, 88,000 litres. So not huge amounts, but we are a small farm. 88,000 litres is not bad not to be sniffed at um, and we will rate, wait for the right time for that to be ready to sell we don't need uh, to get rid of it just yet um, so we shall bide our time okay like I said I'm going to park this up for a little while there's the corn header there as well so we'll just leave it next to that uh, we will come back make sure it's prepped and ready for the next time we've got some crops ready for harvest uh, I do love this combine though. Look at the, I mean, look at the dirt model on it. That is uh, fantastic. So much better than in 19. So much better than 19. Right. Power off. Let's go and work out what's next on the agenda. All right, we're over at the TMR mix that we thought we'd check on progress there. Now I'm going to jump into here, uh, and our TMR is full. So there we go. 8,000 liters of TMR, and we are full we are out of space already so um 
I think that's an ideal time. I said we were going to do it this episode. Actually, it's going to happen sooner than I thought. It's an ideal time to get our cows delivered. So, we will do that right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, great. The deal is here. We don't want cows uh, that we want to milk. We're going to go for some beef cattle. We're going to go for the Angus here. Um, I'm not going to go for the youngest, and I'm not going to go for the oldest. Uh, I'd like to make as much profit out of these as we possibly can, but not in... Uh, terms of having to wait a very long time for it as well so let's go with 30 cattle that is 36,000 um, that's eating into our money a lot but it also is going to give us a return on that investment as soon as we can get it so there we go we are done we need to sort them out with a bit of water and a bit of food so we'll do that right now and uh, then we'll take things from there but they are looking good over there I'm just going to pick up the Orkle trailer here that we have just purchased because I realised I didn't actually have any trailer for moving product about so I'm kind of hoping it's not ideal uh, but feed wagons were expensive and I don't have the money uh, at the moment to uh, fund one of those so a standard trailer that we can use for other stuff was more beneficial to me we can even use this potentially for our stones um, but let's run this under the uh, unload point for the TMR machine and get it filled up so that that can keep producing. So if I just roll under here like so, make sure I'm not going to bash into it. There we go. If I hit the R button now, I should unload. Okay, we had a few issues there. We could not load the trailer for some reason, but it just so happens that we have a very large Volvo uh, wheel loader on the farm at the moment, which does. So if I hit the R button now, I should get myself 8,000 litres of TMR in the bucket, which we will then deposit in the trailer and uh, take it over to the cares. So maybe not as uh, slick as we would have liked. Um, I do need to think about how we do that. Maybe it's another conveyor there, a small conveyor to load these trailers. Um, but... There you go. For now, we are looking good, so let me just try and get this over the trailer without tipping it all over the floor, which I nearly did then. This should do us for the first feed of the cows anyway. There we go. Uh, he's trying to tip on the ground, doesn't he? Look, see that? Right, we'll move to a better position and we'll try again. Right, let's try it here so we can get straightened up and lined up head on. Um, the trials and tribulations of farming, right? Sometimes I take this stuff out, but other times I leave it in because I think it's worthwhile you guys seeing that it's not always plain sailing. Like I said, if I didn't have this unloader on the farm, I would be a little bit scuppered. Although I would have just switched to maybe a, a, a lower a lower sided trailer or something to get... Uh, to get it unloaded but this should work now well there you go after all of that this trailer doesn't take TMR as a filter nothing like paying attention to the instructions eh? So, what we'll do, we will sell this. We're going to lose a little bit of money on this now, which is frustrating because we haven't got loads. Uh, and we're going to buy a second trailer that uh, does take TMR and we will take other fill types as well. So, the point is still the same. We've got a trailer that's multi-purpose. We just didn't buy the right one the first time around. So, we're going to do that now and then we will be back. Okay, so I am, I am having what is known in Scotland as a mare. I have got a trailer that's perfectly adequate for doing this. Guess what? It's even got a lovely side unload on it. It's a forage wagon. It's full of grass because we brought that from the field. We can use that for our TMR. We don't need another trailer. I am honestly... I'm disappointed in myself. So we'll, do, we'll run the Alice round. We'll get that grass unloaded. And we will... Go and feed our cows. 
Now, just as we uh, reverse the Alice up here, I am concerned that it won't work with the conveyor uh, from the TMR machine, so we may need a, a way of getting it in there. We'll try that at another time, because we've obviously got a bucket full of TMR now that we can uh, we can use. Uh, but, yes, for the future, I think we'll, uh, we'll do a test on it. But, currently, I think we're in a good place. Let's just try and get this as perfectly placed as we can. That looks okay to me. Let's get this grass out of here. And we'll try it with the TMR. Honestly, sometimes... I do wonder what I'm doing. Pretty sure you lot do as well. There you go. All the fun of farming, right? Is it going to give me a trigger? It is going to give me a trigger. Now this does take quite a long time to unload, so we'll pop back as soon as this is finished. Okay folks, there we go. Trailer unloaded. Finally. Honestly, it's taken about three hours to feed the cows. Let's see if we can actually make some progress now. So let's roll it over here. Let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to turn the engines off and go home for the night. But it should. We should work now. There we go. TMR in a forage box. Other trailers indeed. Okay, we've sent the digger back to the pond to get on with his work and we will roll this in here. Now I'm hoping that we get a trigger. I don't know where the triggers are in this shed. That's not, not looking that promising but that is Fabulous. Oh, we're tipping from the back, are we? Oh well, if it works, it works. There we go. We have got 30 cattle, so I do think we are going to need a lot more food than this, but that is a good start. They've got some food, and that's all that matters. And because the TMR machine is still working, and there's got lots in there, actually, we should, uh, we should be okay. Now, one of the things we do need to do is keep going and picking the grass up from the field as well. But we have got quite a lot in there now, so that is a bit of a win. Now I just want to check something that we can collect from here. Will it fill up this trailer? The sides are too high, so visually it might not work, but if we roll over the trigger and it gives us something, I'll be happy with that. Although that said, it's not a million miles off. But no, we're not getting the trigger. The trigger is lower down than that. So we are going to have to get a conveyor belt or something to uh, pick up uh, the TMR from inside here, which is fine. Uh, let's just check that we have actually got some TMR. We do. So um, that should have triggered it if we'd uh, got something the right height. But we don't. So um, yes, maybe a small conveyor belt or something here to load trailers will be good. Uh, but we'll worry about that another time. Uh, this is fine for now. I think we're probably going to get ourselves stuck into a little bit of tillage now. It has been... Um, it's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of dithering about, I think, is the f is the phrase we could use. Right, there we go. Let's leave that there and let's go and get um, some tillage equipment. Now let's get in the big tractor. We have got the plough in the shed, so technically it's not tillage, it's ploughing got an old school plough that we're going to get sorted now but uh, there it is tucked in the corner so we will grab that and we will start on the bigger oak field I think it's been sitting there the longest we have got the rock picker there as well so we can go and collect the rocks after that again to contribute to our funds definitely helpful that we've got those look at the amount of money we've uh, been spending recently so let's uh, let's crack on here. Do I need a weight on the front roll? Probably do. But for now, I think we'll uh, we'll take our chances, hoping that the uh, front hitch has got enough weight in it to keep us uh, keep us sane. Right, 
let's head over to the oat field. We'll get that ploughed and uh, we'll see where we go from there. It is getting quite late now, coming towards the end of the day, so we don't want to do too much tonight. Uh, so we'll head back in the morning, but uh, it would be a good job to get this one out of the way. Okay, now if you remember last time with this field, we had a little bit of an issue with course play crashing, and it was because the borders of the field were too close to the borders of some of the other fields. Now we've done a little bit of landscaping, a little bit of painting to fix that, So, and we've got a later version of course play now. So all of that considered, we're going to give this another go and see how it goes. So we're going to open up the course generator here. Everything looks good. 9.2 feet. Yeah, that's probably about right. Panicked for a second there. I thought that was uh, um, meters. Um, we're going to go clockwise. A little bit of an overlap on the headlands. Um, I think everything else looks quite good. Let's see what happens if we do this. Well, sadly, it looks like the same issues with this field that we had before. So it looks like we're going to have to do it manually. And when I say manually, I mean with GPS, but it means it's going to take us a little bit longer. It means we can't do any other stuff, I suppose. That's the frustrating thing with that. We we're going to go and collect the rest of this grass. Uh, maybe do a few more bales. It looks like we are stuck at doing a little bit of ploughing for a bit. Not that that's a bad thing. So we'll jump in and we'll get on with it. Well, folks, as you can see, we've not made much progress, uh, and the light has started to go already. So we're not going to run for much longer. We're going to let this uh, uh, finish up where we are tonight, and we'll let things uh, pick up again in the morning when uh, when we can see a little bit more. So I think we're going to call it here for this episode. I know it's not been a relatively uh, long episode, uh, but we have covered quite a lot of what we're planning to do in the future, and there's quite a lot of jobs to do. So um, from my perspective, it's been a useful episode and I hopefully that pond will be finished relatively soon and we can get on with uh, setting up some new fields there as well. Uh, I have to say the plow is, is good to use, uh, but obviously uh, relatively slow and I'm not sure we need a full on plow for all our fields. So I may consider getting uh, some sort of cultivator as well, a little bit quicker progress as well um, for us so uh, we'll consider that for the next episode but for now uh, I think we'll push on maybe do a few more rows of hiss before it goes super dark uh, but I will leave you at this point and say thank you very very much for watching as always and I will see you all again very soon take care and bye for now